Hey, greetings and welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be looking at loaded data into BigQuery. So please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, reach out to me in the comments as I love to give out help as well as receive help as you go for our job certifications, our jobs, certifications, or we just want to hone our skills. So let's get into it. So with loading data into BigQuery, really there's many different ways you could go about it. You definitely want to learn about Avro, um, Paquette, json csv um and the, the many different methods um when i definitely go through the docs i just learned that batch data is definitely the best way to go about it because it's free and um the query usually doesn't have this issues with the data coming in although you need to cleanse your data before sending it in this batch once it's there the query doesn't have an issue with it it takes states converts them as need be and another thing too is the data is available immediately. So let us get started with this lab. So we wanna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead, download the Angular app, right? Using downget, um, very useful if you don't wanna download a whole repository, we wanna go ahead and do is set up the front end with these two it. Um, command in the root of the project folder in our terminal and want to go ahead and do is download the Python backend as needed, right? And we want to set up the backend in the root of the Python backend in our terminal, right? So after that, we're going to open loading py and we're going to look at batch loading, right? So batch loading, this is just a simple sample, but what I just wanted to talk about is that you always want to go ahead and make and use gzip on your data. Gzip is the only compression allowed in um, that BigQuery works with. You wanna make sure you're using gzip. For the sake of the example, right, just to get yourself started, right, you just want to, we're just going to use an unzip CSV and we're gonna take a look, right, definitely short batch data is free, but definitely it's gonna take a while to upload, right, as you're gonna see in the, in the front end. Right, so I'm just going to provide a table name and the back end is going to create a data set. We don't have to worry about that. Right. And as you can see, right, we don't want it, even though it's free, it's definitely going to take a while. It's loading. I should have put a loading dialogue so that you know that the app didn't break. You want to head over to BigQuery. And that's just another thing about Google, right? It the UI does not update in real time. So we refresh the page, we take a look, right? And there is Oops. And there is our um there's our schema as we have it. So we look at our we look at our schema here in the CSV. I'm not too sure you can see it, right? That's our CSV right there. And now we have the same schema, right? And now say for example, we just want to look at some of the data in that table, right? There's only 10, there's only, there's only should, only should be 10 rows, right? So you can see that we get our data immediately. And that's a key word I want to point out too. So let's uh take a look at streaming. Um, st streaming, well, I said batch stream, let me go ahead. Stream load and what's important, what, there's many cool features about streaming loads, but um, there's a lot of setbacks to that too. It's paid, you have to pay. And um, definitely you can have duplicate data because sometimes there's errors. So definitely when you're loading data with um, BigQuery, what you always wanna make sure is that your data set, right? If, even, you, even if you're using Google Cloud Storage, right? Um, the data set and the storage are in the same multi-region. Definitely want uploads from the back end or for a third party service taking place in the same area or else latency errors are going to occur. And concerning streaming data, right, we're going to see in this example that we upload, even though we upload our data, right, um, it does not reflect in the API. I know immediate updates doesn't reflect in the UI. However, immediate up updates are not going to reflect in the API. And I'm going to show you right now. All right, so we're basically what we're going to do is we're going to add these two rows. We're going to add these two rows. I know it's a use SQL, but this time um definitely wanted to use the SDK. And we want to add these two rows here. 
and I'm gonna place an ID. ID before before, and then I need that to be a Unicode string, right? And that's another thing if no one's familiar, right? So we use the U in front of our strings to indicate that these are Unicode strings for two, and that's how uh, BigQuery decides to see the data. Even though I believe um, Python's already using UTF-8, someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, Python 3, All right? So we update like so. Then we have a, a row, uh, we have a low job and it says there are now 10 rows in the table. If you take a look at our code, right? I literally go back. It doesn't seem like I go back for it, but let me actually the ID, right? So I'm on bakery service updated and I go press submit. Just don't want to say I want to get a new reference, right? This is actually no fluke. Um, let me show you the network panel, right? This is not going to update. There's still 10 rows in the table, right? So it's kind of really weird, right? Because I'm pretty sure we stream that data in However, we hit run, we go again. And I made another mistake, right? We need to increase the limit. I'm only asking for 10 rows, right? We, we see that it updates like so, right? We see it updates. However, in the SDK, we don't see this um, reflecting. So obviously, I have to update this so we can confirm that suspicion. But there you go, definitely. What we learn is that we can stream our, da um, our data, right? But it's not going to reflect. It's not going to reflect as meaningful. And even when we click, right, definitely updates don't happen as planned. So um, definitely want to work with streaming data when you're working with BigQuery. I think what you do is to, I think what you do is you actually use a SQL query just to get that data back to see if it updated properly. You can't really trust the SDK here. That's so why I always say to use the C SQL over the SDK. But thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Most importantly, reach out to me in the comments so you can receive help as well as get help at as you go for our jobs, certifications, the end of third, or you just want to hone our skills. And remember, a link to the lab will be posted in the video description as well as social media for the channel. Thanks for watching.